Bitcoin could be developing a bearish pattern and I started looking to enter a short position. In this video, you will find out what are Bitcoin and Ethereum going to do next. Welcome to Daily Crypto Technical Analysis. We are going to do daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price prediction for intraday trading using different indicators and price action. But before we start, smash the like button because today's goal is to reach 110 likes on this video. Make sure it turns blue. It will only take you one second. First of all, congratulations everyone that took a long position from my yesterday's video. I said that I will be entering a long position if we will have a retracement back to 50 exponential moving average on the 15 minute time frame and I also wanted to see a bullish candlestick pattern being formed. On the 2 hourly time frame we got a bullish pin bar, I entered above a bullish pin bar and we have this nice rally to the upside. First target was exactly hit and also the second target which was 12,700 US dollars resistance level. Both of those targets were hit and we made a very nice profit on this long position. Congratulations everyone that took a long trade on Bitcoin. Right now, if we apply CPR levels to our chart, you will see that right now we exactly hit monthly CPR level, which is currently still acting as our resistance level. It looks like we are actually getting rejected off of this one. And now we are going to see if we are going to once again push to the upside and break to the upside, or if we are going to get once again rejected here and maybe then even retest previous CPR level down here. So in this video, I'm going to show you exactly where is in my opinion the best time to enter a long or even maybe a short position on Bitcoin. So on the 30 minute time frame, we have some more bearish indications that we need to bear in mind. Here we can see that Bitcoin actually overnight retested 13,100 US dollars and we got rejected off of the monthly CPR level. And because of that, you can clearly see that maybe Bitcoin is right now developing a bearish pattern here, which of course could lead us to actually go even lower. I'm going to tell you exactly how far in my opinion could we go and if there is a good chance or a good idea to enter a short position on on Bitcoin because if you look like this Bitcoin could be developing here a left shoulder and then we have a hat right there and this could be right now a right shoulder which we could expect right now to actually drop and once again pull to the downside on the Bitcoin price and if we measure the target how far should Bitcoin or could Bitcoin right now drop we can pretty much measure the hat right there you will see that if we move this one you can see that Bitcoin could actually drop to around 12,200 US dollars and this is not the only evidence why Bitcoin could actually drop that low in the upcoming future so if we go on the four hourly time frame and if we use fibre retracement you will see why this area is so important because if we pretty much measure this past pump to the upside that happened on Bitcoin and this past rally to 13,100 US dollars, you will see that this target perfectly aligns with the 0.5 Fibonacci level. And because of that right now, we have already two confirmations why Bitcoin, if it's going to drop and have a little retracement to the downside, why there could be a good time to actually enter a long position on Bitcoin. And also that's not it guys. We have a fib retracement, we have a head and shoulders pattern here, uh, which is giving us our target. But if we right now zoom a little bit out, you will also see those previous shoulders right there and also the hat right there. And if you look like this, we have the support right there and also once again in another support right there. And if we right now go with the horizontal line, you will see that if this is a support level right there and also another support level is right there. And if Bitcoin is going to drop and make this head and shoulders pattern, I'm expecting that we are going pretty much in this pocket right there. But we also have another confirmation why Bitcoin, if this is going to happen right there, could actually go once again in this pocket. Because if we once again use fibre retracement, you also know that I was talking about the Elliott waves on this channel. So if we right now, we have the first wave a correction, this could be right now actually the second wave. And because of course this wave right there is bigger than this one. So this cannot be the second impulse wave to the upside. And because of that, we need to say that this is the first wave a correction and this is right now the second wave. This is the correct Elliott wave theory right now. And if we use fibre retracement, you will see that this 0.5 Fibonacci level is almost perfectly aligning with the support level of this previous shoulder right there. And because of that, if Bitcoin is going to drop once again and pull to the downside, I would be expecting a correction 
to around 12,300 or maybe even around 12,000 US dollars. This would be the pocket where I would be looking to enter another long position on Bitcoin. And this is in my opinion, very much possible because if this is right now, the second Elliott wave, you could expect a correction to around 0.5 Fibonacci level. But because we have so strong support levels right there, I would expect that Bitcoin is going to retest this pocket right there. And then of course, bounce here to the upside where would be a good time to enter a long position on Bitcoin. So I'm going to tell you exactly where is in my opinion, the best time to enter a short or a long position on Bitcoin. On the four hourly time frame, we can see a bearish hammer candlestick pattern being formed here, which is a bearish indication. And that means that we got rejected off of the monthly CPR level. And if you see this candlestick pattern here, it has actually a higher probability of getting rejected here. And like I said, once again, pull to the downside on the Bitcoin price. Pretty much the same thing on the three hourly time frame. Very, very big bearish pin bar on the three hourly time frame, which has a higher probability of once again going to the downside in the upcoming future on the Bitcoin price. On a daily time frame, we also have a bearish indication because of the RSI indicator. RSI currently is in the overbought region. That means that if you look like this, we also have another confirmation which could lead Bitcoin once again to drop and have a little correction in the upcoming future. Because if you look in the past, we have this overbought region on the Bitcoin price. And of course, we have some consolidation right there. But if you look, for example, right there, we have RSI reaching overbought level and we have this sell off right there. I told you exactly how far I think if the sell off will happen, how far we can actually drop. And this is my target around 12,300 or even maybe around 12,000 US dollars because we have these previous highs or these previous hand and shoulders pattern support levels right there. And because of that, this would be my target where Bitcoin could drop. We also have 0.5 Fibonacci level almost perfectly aligning with this level. And because of that, this is my target if Bitcoin is going to drop once again to the downside. On the stochastic RSI on a daily time frame, another bearish indication is formed because we have a double top pattern. Higher probability we are going to break to the downside in the upcoming future and have a little bit of a corrective wave on the Bitcoin price. So right now I have two short ideas how you could actually trade this corrective wave. First one, of course, is the head and shoulders pattern. If we apply once again, head and shoulders tool to our chart, we have a left shoulder, a head right there. And maybe right now, this could be a right shoulder, which could mean that we are going to once again, right now, drop to the downside in the upcoming future on the Bitcoin price. So how could you trade? Uh, you could enter at the neckline of this head and shoulders. That means that your entry could be at around 12,720 US dollars. That means that Bitcoin is going to curve here and we are going pretty much to retest this level right there, which is the neckline of the head and shoulders pattern. That means that if this is going to get reached, in my opinion, then of course, because of the head and shoulders pattern, it has a hard probability of breaking once again to the downside. I told you exactly how far we could drop if you measure pretty much the head of the head and shoulders pattern. And also if you look at the support levels because of the head and shoulder pattern that we also formed in the past. And also, as you can see, 12,300 US dollars area is almost perfectly aligning with the previous high that Bitcoin made. And this previous high is actually the CPR level or in fact, weekly CPR level, if you look like this, exactly and perfectly aligning with this one. Because of that, if Bitcoin is going to drop to the downside, this would be my first target where you could take some profits. We have CPR level, we have support level, and also we have the hand shoulders target pretty much almost exactly right there. And because of that, this would be my first target if Bitcoin is going to once again pull to the downside in the upcoming future. Second short idea that you could take on Bitcoin is pretty much using free version of market cipher. You can go with high energy candles and here maybe a some kind of a trigger wave will be formed in the upcoming future because money flow on the 30 minute time frame, it looks like it is getting actually uh, lower and lower. We just need to wait for another trigger wave right there. And you can also enter a short position if you are using free version of market cipher for trading. Those are right now two short ideas that you could take in the upcoming future on Bitcoin. But of course, we also do have some bullish indications. And also I'm going to tell you why I entered a long position on Bitcoin. So if we right now go on a weekly time frame, and we were talking about this in my yesterday's live stream. So if we go on a weekly time frame, you will see that if Bitcoin right now is going to close above this level at around 12,300 US dollars, this would be in my opinion, very, very bullish. Because if we go, for example, on a different chart and on a weekly time frame, you can see that when we actually 
closed above 12,300 US dollars. Then of course, this led us to actually reach all time high. In 2019, we were very close because we reached 13,000 US dollars, but we actually didn't have a weekly candle closing above this level right now. If we are going to see in the three days a confirmation that we are going to close up here, in my opinion, this would be a very bullish indication for Bitcoin. And of course, then in my opinion, the probability of reaching all time high will get much, much, much higher. So if we right now go on the 15 minute time frame on yesterday's live stream, we were talking about the 50 exponential moving average on the 15 minute time frame. And because of this signal right there, I am currently still holding a long position. Why I entered a long position right now on Bitcoin? Because I saw that we reached 50 exponential moving average on the 15 minute time frame. And on the three hourly, we have a bullish pin bar pretty much exactly right there. And also on the 45 minute bullish pin bar. And because of that, I entered a long position on Bitcoin. I'm going to tell you exactly what are my targets and where also is my stop loss. So if we go on the 30 minute time frame, we can also expect maybe a bounce off of the exponential moving average on the 30 minute time frame. But in my opinion, this would be a little bit more riskier because of the hand and shoulders pattern that could be developing here on the Bitcoin price. And if Bitcoin is going to retest our 50 exponential moving average on the 30 minute time frame, I will not be entering another long position on Bitcoin. Why? Because in my opinion, this head and shoulders pattern here has a higher probability of actually, of actually playing out. And because this 15 exponential moving average, it's much more important that on the 30 minute time frame, because on the 15 minute, we were actually bouncing off of it. Uh, but on the 30 minute time frame, we were just a little bit off. And because of that, in my opinion, this exponential moving average is not that important. And because of that, I will not be entering a long position if Bitcoin is going to retest 50 exponential moving average on the 30 minute time frame. But I will be entering a short position because of the hand and shoulders pattern. Currently, I am holding a long position on Bitcoin because like I said, we retested 50 exponential moving average on the 15 minute time frame. We also have bullish pin bars on three hourly and also 45 minute time frame. And because of that, I am currently holding a long position on Bitcoin. But what is my target? My target on Bitcoin currently is this previous high that happened here on the 30 minute time frame. For example, if you look like this, this is my target right now, but my stop loss is below the wicks on the 30 minute time frame. So if we just move the stop loss right there, you will see this is my stop loss. And if you look at risk to reward ratio right here, you will see that it is almost exactly 1.5 to one, which is a valid risk to reward ratio. And because of that currently I am holding a long position on Bitcoin. And of course, if Bitcoin is going to pull once again to the upside, this could then develop a right shoulder, which would mean that maybe the hand and shoulders pattern will play out and because of that then I am going to enter a short position on Bitcoin. Also on a daily time frame yesterday, we were talking about the bearish divergence that could be developing on the MACD indicator, but this divergence right now pretty much failed. And because of that, we do not have a bearish divergence on the MACD indicator. And also pretty much the same thing on a daily time frame on the free version of market cipher on the wave trend indicator. We also cannot see a bearish divergence happening here. And because of that, I think that right now we also have bullish indications why Bitcoin could in the upcoming future once again pull to the upside. But like I said, because of the head and shoulders pattern, in my opinion right now, we we have a hard probability of actually getting a little bit of a retracement here. And then of course I would be looking to enter another long position in the upcoming future on the Bitcoin. On a daily time frame, something very nice happened because we have this nice volume spike right there, which is of course very, very bullish. If you look at the spikes right there, we also have this nice pull to the upside. Right now we have a spike in the volume, nice pull to the upside, which is in my opinion, very bullish. And in the upcoming days, I would be expecting Bitcoin to still once again, pull to the upside and hopefully develop a third Elliott wave, which would be very, very bullish for Bitcoin. If you are not already leverage trading Bitcoin and Ethereum on Bybit leverage trading exchange, I have down below links where you can sign up on Bybit and get up to $90 for free in trading bonus. So you can start trading completely for free on Bybit leverage trading exchange. Right now, let's look on Ethereum and here uh, we actually hit our first target. In one of my videos or live streams, I was saying that this would be my first target on Ethereum and we exactly reached it. And right now we are trading at 395 US dollars. 
50% of my long position on Ethereum is still open and my second target on Ethereum was actually changed and I'm going to tell you exactly where is currently my second target on Ethereum because like I said, I am still holding 50% of my Ethereum long position. But this position right now is pretty much without any risk on the table because I moved my stop loss to break even because we reached our first target and because that even if Ethereum then will once again pull to the downside, my long position will still be in the profits and because of that on this trade I currently don't have any more risk to take. So if we look at the CPR levels here on the Ethereum, you will see that we are pretty much hovering over the S1 CPR level, which is currently pretty much acting as our resistance level. It looks like we actually got rejected here and we are actually developing a bearish pattern here on the price action of Bitcoin. So if you look at the pattern right there, you pretty much know that I was talking about this pattern many times on my channel right now. And this pattern has 55% of actually breaking to the downside. If you look like this, it has a hard probability of breaking to the downside. But in my opinion, this is not that strong indication why Ethereum could actually pull to the downside. I'm going to tell you some more indications why Ethereum has, in my opinion right now, a hard chance of actually getting rejected here and pulling to the downside. But I also have do trading ideas that you can take to the upside or even to the downside on the Ethereum price. So right now, if we go on the three hourly time frame on the free version of market cipher, you can see that maybe a divergence could be happening here because on the wave trend indicator, you can see that this wave is actually bigger than this one. But that means that lower high was made, but the price on Ethereum actually made a higher high bearish divergence, higher probability. We are going to get once again pulled to the downside in the upcoming future on the Ethereum Ethereum price. Pretty much the same is happening on the two hourly time frame, but here the divergence is already confirmed. Two divergences already on the free version of market cipher, but money flow here is still not curving to the downside. And because of that, purely because of the divergence here, I would not be entering a short position. So on a daily time frame, we can also see that maybe like on Bitcoin, we could be developing a bearish divergence on the MACD indicator. On Bitcoin yesterday, I said that this divergence could be possible. Right now, it pretty much failed. On Ethereum, this divergence could be right now still possible. That means, of course, that maybe we are going to see a little retracement back to the downside also on the Ethereum price. Pretty much the same is happening right now on the money flow indicator because on the money flow, we can also see that maybe a bearish divergence could be forming on the four hourly time frame. This is actually higher than this one. That means that we went to the downside. The price action made a higher high, which means bearish divergence, higher probability. We are going to see a pull to the downside in the upcoming future also on the Ethereum price. Also on the RSI indicator, we are on the four hour time frame almost at the overbought level, which is of course another bearish indication why we could pull to the downside. On the four hourly time frame, we are seeing bearish pin bars that actually were formed when we actually retested CPR level. As you can see right there, we have two bearish, very big bearish pin bars, which has a higher probability of once again pulling to the downside in the upcoming future on the Ethereum price. So how could you trade this price action currently on Ethereum? If we go with a short position and how could you actually trade this? So you can see this diamond pattern right there. So if you would like, uh, you can trade the breakout of this pattern, which would mean that you would pretty much enter at around 393 US dollar. That means that when this pattern will get broken, you can actually enter a short position, have a tight stop loss because sometimes of course we can get a wake and then of course once again pull to the upside and because of it, have a tight stop loss if you are planning to take a short position on the breakout here, your target could pretty much be measured with the diamond pattern here and if we move this one right there, you can see that your target could be around 384 US dollars on the Ethereum price. And also why is this area so important? Because you can clearly see that it almost perfectly aligns with the previous high that we already made in the past and because of that if Ethereum is going to break to the downside off of this bearish pattern right there. In my opinion, we have a very high probability of actually retesting 384 US dollars support level on the Ethereum price. But also how you could also trade this with the free version of market cipher, pretty much the same as on the Bitcoin. Wait maybe on the three hourly time frame for a confirmation on the divergences or on the 30 minute time frame, the same on Bitcoin. Wait for this trigger wave that could be developed here and then enter a short position money flow. It looks like it is curving to the downside wait for a red dot here to be confirmed and then enter a short position if 
you are trading with a free version of market cipher strategy. This is if you are looking to enter a short position currently on Ethereum. But of course, if we are going to break to the upside out of this diamond pattern here, you can also be looking to enter a long position on Ethereum because like I said, I am still holding 50% of my long position on Ethereum and you can pretty much move the trend line right there. And this is right now my modified second target on Ethereum. Before I was talking that I changed my second target on Ethereum and this is currently my second target on Ethereum. 400 and five US dollars is my second target on Ethereum and my next stake profit if Ethereum is once again going to pull to the upside in the upcoming future. So those are my long and short trading ideas on Bitcoin and Ethereum. If you haven't already smashed the like button because today's goal is to reach 110 likes on this video. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel because I am uploading daily Bitcoin and Ethereum price predictions and technical analysis videos. Right now you can watch one of those two videos that are popping up on your screen. Thank you all guys for watching and peace out.